Hey everyone, this is EG Braden Sam, and uh, I'm going to be talking about Sony Vegas Pro today and kind of talking a, a quick little tutorial, tutorial on the rendering settings that I use for all the videos that I generate. Um, rendering settings is kind of handy because it, it allows you to customize the look, the feel, and the overall quality of the video. So what you want to do is let's just start something new. This is probably a good place to start. So depending on what kind of capturing, what sort of upload speed you can handle, Generally, I go with this guy, HD 720, 60 frames per second. Um, 60 frames per second is nice, I capture in it. It's smooth, it's easy to use, and 720p, 1080p, On most people watch YouTube on small screens. They're not gonna benefit from that much of a bump up. Plus the size of the video is going to sometimes double, sometimes even more, triple, quadruple in size, going with that 1080p. Uh, audio, uh, really anything anything above 32 or 44 is good um, you know if you're putting in a really uh, high quality audio track obviously bump this back up but you don't really need to stereo surround sound uh, just leave it on stereo most people only have two speakers when they're listening to it on a computer or even a phone or whatnot they have one speaker in that in that case pretty tiny uh, all of this other stuff you can kind of just pretty much ignore um, so that's going to be the original composition, I guess you can say. So once you have that, when, when you have edit, everything edited in, so you know everything's in, you're, you're ready to go, you want to basically take this and now go somewhere else, what you want to do is export this as a render. So now that we have this rendered, we want to render it, you go File, Render As, and then they're going to give you a bunch of different options as well. Um, location, pick obviously where you want it to render, and now these are the options that I go with. So all of this stuff you kind of ignore, go right to the bottom, whoop, and you're going to be looking for the XD Cam EX. This is an MP4 file type, which is kind of universally played wherever. So they give you a couple options. Go down. We don't really need this this higher one, high quality. That's what we're looking at. So if you have the video at 1080p and you want it out at 1080p these are going to be the ones for you kind of this bottom group so this is 24 frames per second that's probably the one you want to use but for my videos what I do is I do the 720 at 60 frames 35 uh, megabits per second and uh, that's really it all you have to do you can click on additional options you don't really need that at all um, and then you just hit render and uh, you yeah, already made it yeah I already know that and then you just let it render quick and easy simple as that as long as the first settings are made properly sometimes you put a clip in it'll say do you want to take this project uh, with the first clip settings depending on your other clips you might not want to you know if your first clip is only 24 frames per second all the rest is 60 you might want to think about redoing that 24 frames per second video just food for thought thanks for watching